Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages Spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah, let's do it. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, the 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started, shall we? All right. So, here we go. <clears throat> Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Aries for the time period of May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, let's see what's going on for you. So, in the beginning of the month, we were talking about how something was coming and there was no need to be afraid. So let's see what's going on for the second half of the month, yeah? Hmm. All right, one more shuffle for you. And then, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna do that one more time, just one more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, Aries, let's see what we got. Overall energy, we're starting off with the Hermit. So there's a, quite a bit I'm hearing. I was gonna say there's a bit of, of introspection going on, but uh, as I was saying that, I heard there's quite a bit of introspection going on. We have the Hermit here. so. Um, if you want to talk zodiac signs, um, this the hermit is the is uh, Virgo. Yeah, we have the nine of wands, and we have the three of pentacles in reverse. Underneath all of that, we've got the eight of cups in reverse. So I feel like I really feel like. Um, some of you may be having some trouble moving away from something. For others of you, you're in the process of moving away from something. Um, and this would be what this hermit stage is all about for you in that sense. So you could be going within 
And what I'm picking up here is you're going within in order to understand some sort of situation that requires teamwork, maybe, or um, some personal work with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is in reverse here. So I'm picking up that for some of you, this could, what I'm really picking up here for a lot of us, or us, I say us because my Venus is in Aries, but for a lot of us and the, pe the people I'm connecting with here, um, mm, interesting. Um, you're going within to get some clarity on a situation in which, you know, there wasn't much teamwork. Um, you could be going within to understand how to be a better team player. Um, and, and with the nine of wands here, I, I, this, the nine of wands is the, my just keep swimming card. Okay. So there's a lot of perseverance going on. I feel like there has been, this is, there's, there's a journey that's been, you know, you've been moving through, um, and you're really having to persevere on this. Now with the eight of cups in reverse, I'm feeling like this could be that someone is refusing to move on, but, and again, because this is a general reading, it very well could be that. However, what I'm really picking up here is that there is some serious difficulty in moving forward with something. There could be an actual blockage right now from, and not from a place of, I don't want to move on, more of a place of, I really can't right now. Like, I feel like there's a pause involved. Like there has to be, there, something is, is in the way and <clears throat> movement forward in this moving forward from something that was unfulfilling is blocked in that sense. Not because someone is choosing not to move away, but I hear that they just, they really just can't at the very moment. But overall, it's a good thing. Okay. Because overall, you know, someone whether it's you, Aries, or someone else you're connected with, if you're cross-watching for an Aries, someone is really identifying the problems here. Someone is identifying um, the areas in their life in their life where teamwork was not successful, was not involved when it should have been. Um, and that actually is a big part of the reason why someone... You, either you, Aries, or someone else that you're connected with um, cannot move away. Why, you know what? Why don't I just put my phone on vibrate? I think that sounds like a great idea. Oops, that's not it. That's not it. There we go. Sorry about that. But <laughs> um, but this, the, this, so this is also, this is the biggest reason why the Eight of Cups, let me turn this back over. This is the biggest reason why the Eight of Cups is in reverse right now, okay, for this group of people that I'm channeling for, that I'm connecting with. Um, someone is in the process of moving away. Someone actually does want to move away from some sort of situation or relationship that they no longer resonate with. Um, but it's not like they can just up and go, you know, because in some, I, wow, I'm saying a lot and we're only in the, the overall energy, but I want to I want to communicate with you as much as I can about what I'm picking up from these energies. Um, they literally cannot take that step in this new direction until they understand just what was going on in the situation to create this lack of teamwork. And I feel like this is a falsehood in teamwork. Like some people with the three of pentacles in reverse here, there were people involved that were saying, oh yeah, I'm on your side, I'm part of the team, blah, blah, blah. But they were really just in it for their, for their own selves, for their own personal gain and leaving either you or this person that we're talking about in the cold. Now we don't have the five of pentacles yet, we might, but at this moment, that's what I'm feeling, okay? Okay, so let's get into the storyline here. First off, we have strength in reverse, okay? Now that's totally understandable given the circumstances. We also have the four of pentacles in reverse. So what I'm getting here is um, a, a knowledge, and um, now, just to preface before I move forward, I just want to say that either this is for you, Aries, or this is someone you're connected with, or this is someone that um, you're cross-watching for. Whether, if, if, Like, say, if you're cross-watching for an Aries, okay? Just want to lay that out there because I don't want to have to say it over and over again. But um, someone is very aware that they need to let go of something. And it's not even that they're aware of it at this point. They're just, they're in the process of doing it. Like, they're literally prying their hands 
off of something that they've been holding on to for a very long time. But with strength in reverse, um, they're scared, terrified, mm -hmm. I'm hearing. Like, terrified. Like, what I'm picking up, and honestly, if for whoever this is, it's really, don't, I feel like I'm saying that and some people that are watching are like, oh my God, no, no. I mean, I'm stronger than that, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Look, don't worry about it, okay? It's not about just, look, <laughs> you're scared, but you're not really all that scared. You're kind of like, you're wondering if you have the strength to do this. That's what I'm trying to say. You're feeling like you're lacking the strength to do this. The, stre the, the, the strength and the abundance that is available to you that you could be tapping into um, is being blocked or you feel like it's being blocked. Like you, you're, you're in, a, in a sense, you can't see the forest for the trees at the moment. Um, and it's okay. And I totally under I totally understand this feeling because the Four of Pentacles is giving me this feeling that you know this is this has been rock solid rooted for a very long time. So yeah, this is going to be a process of letting this go. Um, it doesn't have to take forever. I don't want you to think that. It's just it's going to be tough in the beginning. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Moving for but honestly, uh, once you really take this step, once you start moving in this direction, once you start taking the actual steps, it's going to get easier and easier the further you go, okay? <laughs> Moving forward, we have the Prince of Pentacles, which is also known as the Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Excellent, excellent. So yes, this is exactly, this is talking about what I was picking up with the Eight of Cups in reverse. It's not that you're not moving, it's that you're taking the time to understand why things have happened the way they did and so that you can effectively choose the best path forward it's not that you're trying to figure out where you want to go for many of you um, whoever this is referring to you already know exactly where you want to go you already know the destination so the choice that is being represented here by the two of wands is just the path in which you take to get there for some of you you still do not know which way you want to go so either way the knight of pentacles here is you uh piecing the puzzle together forming the blueprint forming the plan of action drawing up your directions in order to move in the direction that you've been longing to go into for such a long time, okay? Next, we have the Four of Cups in reverse. I really like seeing that with ah, the Emperor in reverse. Okay, <clears throat> so what's going on here? A few things. One, the Four of Cups in reverse is wh whoever we're talking about. Either the, I said I wasn't going to say it again, but I'm just going to whatever, go for it and just say what comes to mind. Either this is you, Aries, or this is the person that you're connected with, or this is the person that you're cross-watching for. The Four of Cups is now this person taking that offer, okay? With the Emperor in reverse, this is, this is not the Emperor being manipulative anymore. This is the Emperor not exactly knowing how to do it. This is the energy of the Emperor... Um, the Divine Masculine even, if we're talking about a Twin Flame situation, being blocked, but only because th this person is not sure how to proceed. But they do know that they want to accept this offer now. They also may want to give an offer, but that's, that, that's, that's kind of on the fringes. The Four of Cups is more about, um, when it's upright, the Four of Cups is more about um, rejecting an offer, not really making a decision, kind of ignoring the situation and looking off in a different direction. But with the Four of Cups in reverse here, we're saying that now this person recognizes or you recognize, Aries, that you actually do want to take this offer. But, uh, and and if, uh, yes, the Emperor does um, symbolize uh, the Divine Masculine when we're talking about Twin Flames. Um, outside of Twin Flames, the Emperor is the energy of action, the go-getter, the doer, okay? And the Emperor is reversed in this situation because, again, we're still trying to figure out which way to go, how to do this, how to go about this, okay? Moving forward, we have, oh wow, the Lovers. There are a lot of, I mean, choices abound here, okay? The lovers can, if we're talking twin flames, the lovers can mean um, the relationship between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. If we're not talking twin flames, the lovers is a choice, ultimately. And this choice is spiritually oriented, which is going to be 
the, which is going to be the best avenue for you? Which is going to be the most spiritually fulfilling for you? Are you going to choose vice or are you going to choose virtue? Yes, in many cases, that's what it could mean. The, the lovers is coupled with, aha, ha, the prince of wands. So the first thing I got with the prince or also the knight of wands, the first thing I got was no more indecisiveness, no more wishy-washy, no more in one second out the other. The, the choice that's going to be made, Aries, in this situation um, is a choice that's going to bring stability and long-term uh, situations, a long-term relationship even. Um, yeah, no more wishy-washy, basically. Like, this is a choice that's going to be made, and once the choice is made, full speed, well, yeah, full speed ahead, because because the Knight of Wands really does talk about moving very, very quickly. Um, so does the Knight of Swords, too, but Wands is more passionate, fiery, and also spiritual. The Wands suit, is a, it, it can talk about uh, things of a spiritual nature. Now, um, so the reason why the Knight of Wands is reversed here, because that quality that the Knight of Wands um, holds of being wishy-washy in one second out the other has gone out the window. And now we're moving forward in a strong, fiery, passionate, quick way, but we're moving in this direction with intentions to stay on this path, not to just jump off of it all willy-nilly when we feel like it. Yeah? All right. Next, we have... Oh, yeah, the Ace of Swords. So there was, and this is upright. So there was some sort of inspiration. There was an aha moment. There was an epiphany, right? And that is coupled with, whoa, guys, the Two of Cups. So for many of you, this is a relationship. This this very well could be a twin flame relationship, okay? Because we have the Emperor here, and we have the Lovers. And, and now we have the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups is, some, is a twin flame card. It's also a soulmate card. Um, now, if this is not about love for you, then this is about you coming to terms with yourself. I just heard uh, balancing the, uh, masculine and feminine energy within you. And if you haven't, and if you haven't been working on balancing your masculine and feminine energies, this is more about um, two, maybe even more sides of you that may have been at odds in the past that have now come into an agreement come into an agreement and now we have the ace of swords the aha moment the epiphany in which now you can now you can under by while understanding you know which direction you want to go in or at least what you want to attempt to manifest in your world now you can make a decision from a balance point internally if we're talking uh soulmates uh twin flames love um this is someone recognizing the value of a certain relationship. Someone, someone finally seeing the relationship, the value in the relationship and the relationship for what it truly is, okay? Um, now, this person, this could be you, Aries, or this could be the other, another person that we're talking about. Um, it could even be someone that you're cross-watching for. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm laughing at myself because I said I wasn't gonna say that over and over, but. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going to go ahead with it. Um, so, uh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Um, oh, what I was going to say, it's entirely possible that this person, especially since this is also saying this to me because both because the Two of Cups is upright, this person may have known full well who you are to them, who they are to you, whatever. What They may have been very aware of the nature of this relationship, but it wasn't until recently where an epiphany, an aha moment happened, where now they can find, now they're finally willing to look at it in some cases is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Next we have the Hierophant. All right. So if we're talking Zodiac, ah, I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot to continue with this. If we're talking Zodiac, strength is uh, Leo. Uh, the Emperor is Aries. So, hey, Aries, you're here. I just realized that you showed up for your reading. Congratulations. It's nice to see you. Uh, and we have the Lovers here, which is Gemini. And the Hierophant is Taurus. Okay. The Hierophant uh, can talk about marriage. It can also talk about convention, um, societal convention, conformity. Um, whether that be positive or negative, that is for you to decide. Um, it can also talk about a connection with your higher self. Now, that this I do consider the Hierophant the higher self card because our higher selves are of the fifth dimension, and this is card number five in the Major Arcana. 
The Hierophant is coupled with all, the All Gifted. Okay, so the All Gifted is, if you are unfamiliar with this deck, the All Gifted is a depiction of Pandora and her box um, of goodies, we'll call it. And this is a unique card to this deck. This deck is the Tarot Apocalypsis. Here, let me hold this up for you guys so you can see if you are interested in acquiring this deck, I highly recommend it. I love it. It's by Eric C. Dunn, Dune. I hope I am not, I don't know how to pronounce that. I apologize for butchering your name if I did. And Kim Hudgens. It's a beautiful deck, guys, as you can see. I've been, ever since I've gotten it, I've been using it like cray cray. <laughs> um, but the All Gifted talks about um, you know, being aware of oneself, being accepting of oneself and their gifts, what they have to offer the world. Um, and in this case, it is possibly positively aspected in the sense that number one, it's coupled with the Hierophant and both of them, number two, both of them are upright. So what this is talking about here is in some, uh, on some level, in some way, whether this is you Aries, or if this is another person that's connected with you, um, it, and in, in many cases, actually, I feel like this is both of you that we're talking about here, if we're talking about a relationship, uh, like a, a love relationship or something, or even a twin flame relationship. And if it's a twin flame relationship, this next point I'm, I'm about to make is that much more important. And here's why. I feel like there is harmonization within whomever we're speaking of right now. And that harmonization has opened the floodgates in a way, has opened Pandora's box, and is now allowing you to step forward on your path and truly accept who you are and what you have to offer this world. And you get now you can move forward confidently um, into your next phase in life. Congratulations. I'm just going to say congratulations because that is really, really a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah? Moving forward, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse with ah the Nine of Cups in reverse. So, okay, what I'm picking up here is there may be a bit of drowning of the sorrows. Now, this is connected with um, a situation in which someone feels regret. I'm getting regret. Now, we don't have the Five of Cups here, um, and that's a good thing because if the Five of Cups was here, that would only make this message of regret that I'm getting uh, that much stronger, that much more powerful. It would mean that someone is uh, wallowing in their sorrow. I am getting a bit of overindulgence here, trying to drown the pain a little bit. Um, and it has to do with an imbalance between a give and take. Yeah. Now, if we're talking a soulmate twin flame relationship, this is from the past. Okay. This is... Um, recognizing recognizing how you know there was an imbalance in give and take and um trying to numb the pain a little bit from that situation oh i do want to go back because i forgot to mention if we're talking a twin flame relationship why this harmonization is so important because um twin flames in order to uh, in moving through your path as a twin in order to reach union, physical union, in order for physical union to manifest in the 3D between two twins, each individual needs to harmonize. Each individual needs to come into balance with masculine and feminine energies. And so what we're saying here is, if this, re if this reading is resonating with you, then you have at least stricken a balance or you are in the process of striking this balance between masculine and feminine energy within you as an individual. And um, that is a beautiful thing. I know that that part of the resonating, uh, that part of the reading at least for me is resonating because I am on a twin flame journey and I have recently struck this balance between masculine and feminine energy. And it's, I mean, guys, it's, <laughs> it's one of the best feelings ever. Okay, so back to the Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups in reverse. That, I mean, really the only thing I'm getting with this part is that there's a bit of drowning of sorrows here. There's a bit of numbing the pain, especially when it comes to those who are having trouble figuring out which way to go and are feeling crippled by this uh, lack of strength or at least 
feeling like you are lacking in the strength and the abundance to move forward in this new path, this new direction that you really want to move in. Um, I'm not uh, honest. I'm going to be quite honest. I'm not getting too much of it. The energy of this reading for whoever, whomever I'm connecting with is way too focused for you to be really drowning too much. But if you are, say, indulging a little more than you usually do, it's because you're understanding, you're realizing, you have come to the realization, especially with this Ace of Swords here, you've come to the realization, um, well, whatever realization you've come to, it does have to do with an imbalance between give and take, okay? Finally, we have the Queen of Pentacles with, oh yes, the Five of Swords in reverse Aries. In reverse Aries! <laughs> Look, all right. To me, the Five of Swords can be very much an Aries card. Please don't take that personally. I don't mean it to be personal. Um, but, I, okay, my Venus is in Aries. So I can attest to this. Now this, that your Venus sign is, um, how you relate to love. Okay. And I, let me tell you, when it comes to love, I can be very aggressive and I can be very combative under the right circumstances. It's something that I have been, uh, working diligently on balancing out. Um, overall though, Aries can be pretty hot headed. Aries can you push them right or you push the right button in an Aries man and they are coming after you full force, no holds barred. But here, and, and that's a lot of what the five of swords energy represents, but here it's reversed. So it means that at least in this moment, in relation to this situation, you are not taking on the five of swords energy. You are much more balanced, much more level headed, much less aggressive than you normally would have been. Coupled with the Queen of Pentacles, that's what the, that that's what we're talking about here. It's a balance, it's grounded, it's compassionate, okay? It's it's not not going out looking for a fight. Okay? What this also means um, if we're talking if, now let's get back to a uh, uh, soulmate love relationship, uh, twin flame relationship. For soulmates, um, if this is you, no, for soulmates and twin flames, I'm picking up that this is, for twin flames, this is the, the queen of pentacles is um, symbolizing the divine feminine. It could, it could also be uh, a karmic partner that embodies queen of pentacles energy, that being a homebody, a good mother, a good wife, um, a uh, homemaker, um, you know, some of that embodies, embodies those qualities. And in the case of a karmic relationship, the five of swords in reverse here is saying that you're no longer fighting for this. You're putting your sword down and you could be, this could be what you're walking away from. For others, say on a twin flame relationship, in a twin flame relationship, what I'm getting here is you're no longer fighting against who this queen of pentacles is for you. Okay, so like in the case of the divine masculine, if the divine masculine in your situation was fighting against this connection with you, these five of these five swords are now being laid down, laid to rest is what I just heard. Change is coming in the area of who this person is to either you or them. Yeah. Wow, guys. Okay, Aries, there you have it. That was a really, really great reading for you. I'm very happy that I could bring you guys these messages, yeah? So, until uh, the first half of June, Lord, guys, we're almost at June. We are, geez, we're almost halfway through the year. That's insanity. <laughs> okay, but anyway, until I see you guys in for the first half of June, I wish you all the best. Much, much love to you. Take care, and I will speak with you soon. Bye.